the fake news media know. Now, Hillary Clinton leaked more classified documents than any human being, I believe, in the history of the United States of America, right? And she deleted 33,000 emails. And she said, oh, and by the way, if you did it, five years, maybe more, okay? But you'd never have access to classified. Very few people have access. She deleted 33,000 emails. I kept waiting. Because, you know, they can talk Benghazi, they can talk a hundred different things. What people understand is when you get rid of this kind of evidence, so the United States Congress said they subpoenaed her. They wanted to see her emails. After getting the subpoena, she deleted 33,000 emails. And they said, you remember this? Yeah. Yes, the emails were about her yoga classes, her exercising, and her daughter's wedding. 33,000 about her daughter's wedding. <laughs> that must have been the greatest wedding of all time. <laughs> And nothing happened to her. We want to have a great and fair court system. And I hope you had a fair and, you know, fair and wonderful court system. But perhaps you didn't. Perhaps you didn't. Hi, I'm Prashant here from Global News. Thank you for your care and support. The Supreme Court was facing a major decision in a case involving Hillary Clinton. What the justices decided surprised everyone. The Supreme Court put jaws on the ground with one ruling about Hillary Clinton. Judicial Watch had been fighting in court to depose Hillary Clinton about emails sent on her unsecured private server pertaining to the 2012 terrorist attack on the American consulate in Benghazi. A lower court ruled last March that Judicial Watch lawsuit could proceed. However, a three-judge panel on the DC Circuit Court of Appeals overturned that ruling. Obama appointee Judge Robert Wilkins rejected Judicial Watch's request to depose Hillary Clinton by claiming the watchdog group would use the deposition as a fishing expedition. Judge Wilkins ruled especially in light of Judicial Watch's present access to extensive information responsive to its proposed deposition topics. The deposition of Secretary Clinton, if allowed to proceed, at best seems like to stray into topics utterly unconnected with the instant FOIA suit and at worst could be used as a vehicle for harassment or embarrassment. Judicial Watch appealed to the Supreme Court, but the justices ended Judicial Watch's request to hold Hillary Clinton accountable, with an unsigned order declining to take up the case. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton issued a statement accusing the court of upholding a double standard and undermining faith in public institutions. He said, Hillary Clinton ignored the law but received special protection from both the courts and law enforcement. For countless Americans, this double standard of justice has destroyed confidence in the fair administration of justice. Law and Crime Reports The Supreme Court of the United States on Monday declined a conservative legal group's request to revisit whether Hillary Clinton should be required to answer questions about her use of a private email server during her tenure as Secretary of State. In an unsigned order issued without comment, the justices declined to take up Judicial Watch's petition stemming from the organization's lawsuit over the government's response to a Freedom of Information Act FOIA request. The group had sought to depose Clinton and one of her top aides Cheryl Mills over electronic communications in connection with the 2012 attack on the United States consulate in Benghazi, Libya. After disgraced former FBI director James Comey took the law into his own hands and allowed Clinton to skate on criminal charges of mishandling classified information on her private server, the judicial watch suit was the last chance for the American people to get the truth about this matter. The Supreme Court declining to hear Judicial Watch's case brings the saga of Hillary Clinton's email server and possible criminal activity to an end. For 30 years, the Clinton frustrated conservatives by constantly escaping the consequences of their scandalous behavior. The Supreme Court's decision will not soothe any of those feelings. 
although many conservatives do believe Hillary Clinton finally paid the price when the 30 year quest to become president ended in failure when Donald Trump defeated her in the 2016 election that's all for today thank you if you want global news to keep you up to date on any new developments please subscribe our channel and forward our content with your friends on social media and email thank you very much for keep supporting me stay safe be blessed namaste thank you god bless you and god bless america